Hi, this is Eric. We're going to be doing a show through on your vacation here. All right. So right here is going to be where you would fill your gasoline in the coach. Um, you do have this little door here. You're going to have this little black trademark key. That's what's going to open and lock this little compartment door here. Okay. Um, this does use unleaded regular fuel. Right next to it, we were gonna have our power cord. This is a 50 amp service, and it does have an automatic wind up wheel. Um, right next to the wheel is a little button, and that's actually gonna automatically retract your power cord for you. Okay. Moving it along here, this compartment is going to be your generator. This is gonna power the coach when you're not plugged in. This is also going to be controlled by a switch located inside. Moving up here, we do have what we call your wet bay. So right here is gonna be your water filter canister. Right behind it is gonna be where you dump your tanks. You have one black tank and one gray tank, and they're color coded gray and black, okay? Um, you are going to remove the cap, hook up your sewer hose, and you can actually run it right through this cap here. Okay. Once you are hooked up and ready to dump, you're going to want to pull your black valve first, let that drain out, then you're going to pull your gray. Up here we have what we call a sandy flush. This is going to be used when you're dumping your tanks. You're going to hook up a hose to it and it's actually gonna flush out the black tank. Um, when you're using your sandy flush, make sure that the hose is hooked up and your black valve is open. Right above it, we have a 12 volt hot port for a 12 volt TV. We have a tenna hookup right next to it. And above it, we have a 110 outlet. And then above that, we have what we call the water pump switch. Coming over here, we have your outside shower. So you have hot and cold and then your nozzle here. Right below it's gonna be where you control what fills what, okay? So you're gonna hook up here, this is what we call city water, and by turning this knob, you're going to be hooked up to city water. If you flip it again to tank, this is gonna fill your fresh tank from this port here. Once your tank is full and you are gonna use your water pump, you need to flip this valve to dry camp, okay? Um, to put this in winterize mode, you're going to turn this to winterize, and that's going to, when you hook up here, that's going to run through all your lines with antifreeze to winterize the coach. And then right here, you have low point drains. Low point drains are going to be what you would use when winterizing. It's going to drain the water out of the lowest point of the water system. Located right underneath of this, is going to be your water pump. Right next to it, you're going to find your brand new sewer hose. Located right here is also going to be the back of the furnace. Okay, so this is the exhaust. So when you are running your furnace, this does get hot. So you would not want to have something sitting in front of it. Back to your compartments. This compartment is storage. This compartment up here is also storage, but you also have your fresh tank in here. Okay. Um, in order to drain your fresh tank, you're going to have this red valve in this position right here. Um, up and down with the pipe is actually open, so this will actually allow water to drain back out of the fresh tank. Flipping this valve sideways will actually close it. That's the position you want when you want to fill your fresh tank. And then on your set of keys, you will find a key that says CH751. 
It's a little silver key. This is gonna open this compartment up here. This is gonna be another way to fill your fresh tank. Moving along up here, we can open up the hood. Once you flip this down, you are going to have access to your wiper fluid, your battery, and your antifreeze. to the entry door side um, on your entry door you do have a little latch here you can latch this that's going to keep that door open also um, down here in these compartments you will have your battery disconnect this is going to be for your inverter um, an inverter is what converts uh, 12 volt to 110 so when the coach is not plugged in you still have 110 outlet that works and your refrigerator which is a household will run off of this as well this compartment is storage Up here we have your water heater. So right here is going to be what we call a pressure relief valve. And then right here is going to be your water heater plug. This plug is inserted in the bottom of the tank. That's what's going to keep water in it. And you're also going to remove this plug when you want to drain the water heater. Um, when going to drain the water heater, you want to lift this valve up, relieve all pressure that's in the tank before you remove this plug. This water heater does run on gas and electric, and it is controlled from inside the coach. Right here, we do have an outside TV and a stereo system. Um, this TV is hooked up to your cable inside, also hooked up to your DVD player. You have two outside speakers and a radio here that will play um, CDs as well. Right down here is going to be your propane tank. You have an on off valve here and then everything else from this would be controlled inside. Located right here, you do have a storage compartment. Right here is a reservoir for your hydraulic fluid that would be for your jacks. You have power stabilizer jacks which are located inside um, and they're ran by hydraulic fluid. In this compartment here, you do have more storage. And then your very last compartment does go all the way through and it is storage as well. All right, so now that we're inside the motorhome, we're gonna show you how to um, run your slider rooms in and out. First thing we're gonna do is set the emergency brake and we're gonna turn the coach to the running position, okay? We're gonna come over to the cabinets here. Um, you have your slider room controls. Once the coach is running, the emergency brake is set. We're going to run your slider room out.
Also up here in our control panel, we do have your power control system. This is just gonna show you how much power you have running in your coach. We are plugged into a 50 amp service, so it just says can power control system 50 amp. And now if you were converted down to a 30 amp service, it would just show you that you're on 30 amp. Right next to it, we have your monitor. This is just gonna show you your two lines. When you're plugged into 50 amp, you're gonna have two lines. So that just says 126 and 126. That makes your 250. Right up here, we're gonna be able to turn on the water heater, gas, and electric. Okay. Also, we're gonna check your levels of your tanks by hitting that button. It shows your fresh tank, your LP, your gray water, and your black water. Right next to that, we're gonna have your generator start. So you have auto gen and your set. So you can preset your generator start at a certain time um, of the day by setting your gen, auto gen. Otherwise, you can push and hold stop, which is gonna prime the generator. Once that red light comes on, let it prime for about 10 seconds. And then you're gonna switch over to start and your generator will fire up. Now when you're not plugged in, your auto automatic transfer switch will kick in and that's what's gonna power the coach from your generator. Right here is gonna be your magnum energy. This is going to be your inverter control. So you have on off. Right now it is currently off. If we were to turn it on, it's going to start inverting, which means it's going to take energy from being plugged in and charge your battery. Um, this way you can control or you can run 110 items when the coach is not plugged in. Also it's going to keep your refrigerator running because that is a household refrigerator. And then we'll have to turn the coach off. We're going to set your seats back a little bit. And now, once the driver's and passenger seat is removed down, we can lower your bed bunk. Once this bed is all the way down, these lights do turn on, letting you know that you are all the way set down. Uh, the ladder that's in the rear compartment out there is actually meant for this, so it's going to hook on to this bunk here. Another thing we have up here is going to be your thermostat. This is going to control your AC and your furnace. So we go ahead and turn system on. You have zone one and two, and you choose that by hitting zone. It's going to go two or one, and you have the option to change from mo mode, which is cool. So that's AC right now. Hit it again, that's fan. Hit it again now, and it shuts it off, okay? Um, to do, turn your furnace on, you are going to do the same thing, and that's going to be an electric heat pump from the AC. All right, back here in the back of the coach is going to be your bedroom. So the three slot out controls up there do the kitchen, the living room, and your wardrobe side room. This bed control is actually located on this panel here. So we're just going to run bed out, and then that's going to open up this room here. You do have the option to run the wardrobe slide from this panel as well. You also have your rear, rear ceiling lights and then your bedroom ceiling lights on this control as well. Coming into the bedroom, you do have an emergency window here. On the side of the bed, you have an outlet that does have USB charging ports built in. And then you also have a generator start and stop switch right there as well. Coming over here to your TV, this TV does open up. That's gonna access your cable boxes here and your DVD player as well. 
This box here is going to change all the inputs on your TV. So right now it is main TV, bedroom, exterior, and up front TV are all set on DVD. By changing um, the input on these, are gonna control all TVs on your dish or DVD player. Right here you do have a control panel that does the bed ceiling lights, same as the one outside. And it also does the bathroom lights as well. Coming into the bathroom, we do have this cabinet up here. This is gonna be all where all your fuses are. And then there's a center up here as well that you can go through the menu and when a fuse is bad, it will show you which fuse by what number, and then that fuse can be replaced. Right here, we do have your toilet. Um, so in order to flush this, you want to push this pedal down all the way. It's going to run water and flush. If you want to just run water in the bowl, you're going to push that pedal down about halfway. Okay. Um, when the pedal is pushed down, you do have a spray nozzle here that you can push this button and it will help rinse out that toilet. Coming into the closet here, you do have a washer and dryer. You have sliding glass doors for your shower. They do have a lock on them, so when you are in motion, you do want these doors slid over and locked into place. Coming out of the bathroom here, you do have your sliding door. All right, on to the kitchen. So right here we do have your residential refrigerator. So open up these the refrigerator doors here and you do have your controls here. Um, you have the option to turn on and off your ice maker and then control of um, the, the freezer and then control of the fridge. Power cool or power freeze is just a fast way to get it down to temperature. This is your freezer. Moving along here, we do have your stove top. So by removing these covers here, you can light these burners. If, as long as your propane is turned on, you turn to light and spark and your burners will light. Up top here, we do have a convention oven. This is right here is going to be your kitchen sink. We do have some cabinet space under the sink here. And then right down here in this cabinet, By removing the trash can, you do have your water heater bypass. So this is a valve right here. Now the valve is up and down, so it's in bypass mode, which means if you run water or antifreeze through the system, it will not enter the water heater. So normal operation, you would wanna have this valve turned and it actually says normal flow. over here you do have your dinette booth here with your table your light switches up here you have another television here with a sound
All right, so we're gonna quick cover how your Wally um, dish works. So right now we do have it plugged in and turned on. We have your box set to bedroom TV on satellite one. This is also hooked up to HDMI one on the television. So through the settings, I clicked on HDMI one and this is gonna be your home screen. From here is where you would have to call dish and actually get your service set up. All right, so located under the bed, you will find the ladder that is for that front bunk above the driver's seat. And also you will find your table leg and table top that will sit between the two chairs. There's also room down here for more storage. All right, and to finish up our show through, we're gonna show you how everything up front on the dash works. So by starting up the coach, um, we do have your radio here and your backup camera, which is located on the other side of this dash. You will have your heated mirror switch here, your mirror controls left and right, your front blind, which runs when the coach is running. You can run your front blind down about halfway. Once the blind stops, in order for it to go down all the way, the coach has to be shut off. Right next to that, we have aux start. So what that does is when your chassis battery is low and you need to start the coach, you can push this button and it's gonna pull juice from your house batteries and help get this coach to start. Right here, we do have your driver's fan, high and low speed. Um, these fans do rotate around so you can face them on the windshield. Your ICC lights are gonna be your fog lights which are located down front below the grill. Right here we do have your light switch for your headlights. Located back here is going to be your power gear level series. This is how you're gonna control your leveling gears. So when you get to where you're going, you want to level, you're going to turn on. Coach does have to be running for this. Engage your parking brake and you're going to hit auto. And automatically the all four jacks will come down and will level the coach. When you are ready to retract all your jacks, you're just going to retract and then hit all jacks button. Once all your jacks are retracted all the way up, your jacks down light will shut off and it will, be, it will beep at you letting you know that you are ready to go. On the steering column, we do have your wipers and your blinkers. You do have side mirrors. Your cruise control settings are located on the steering wheel itself. Over here are gonna be buttons that will program the dash. So your reset and your setup is all done on the dash here. Right here we do have your map light switch, which are going to be these lights located above the driver's seat and the passenger seat. Your utility lights are going to be located outside. And then once again you do have a generator start and stop switch up here on the dash. You do have a park and travel mode for your stereo. So when the coach is turned off, if you put it in park, the radio turns back on. Um, when you are traveling, you're gonna want this in travel mode. Right below that, we do have your, your AC and your heat controls. Pretty common. Um, you have all your options there as well. Coming over to the passenger side, you do have a map light switch on and off and then you also have your fan control over here as well you do have a little pull out drawer and a 112 or um, sorry a 12 volt hot point here
And that would be it. If you have any other questions, feel free to contact us at Beer Inks, and uh, hopefully we can get anything answered that you have questions about.